Hello my beautiful bitters, welcome to my channel and today I have my Project Polish Mini Edition update for you guys. The first one is this one and this is Wet n Wild in Amethyst Rock and I finished this one up. There is some polish in the bottom but it doesn't, I can't get it all out so I gave up. So this one is finished. And I'm so glad it's finished. I kind of started getting really annoyed with it after a while. Totally done with it. So this one is done. So, so, so very happy that that one is done. Finished. It's frosty outside. Finished. It's the star ticking. Finished on a trip. Finished. I read a good book. Number eight, Blue Eyed Soul, which is this one. And I made a little bit of progress. I don't know if you could see that line, but that's where I'm at in Blue Eyed Soul. Number nine is Grey's Anatomy. I think, I don't think we made progress this month. I don't think I did. So, next one is I Sore. I didn't do it. Let me see if I can find that one. This one right here. And this line right here is where I'm at. So a little bit of progress, not a whole lot, but a little bit. Beautiful color, totally would reuse it, repurchase this one. Love that one. Next one is China Glaze Peppermint to Be, which is right here. And this one was used, but not enough for a line. Yeah, this one was used, but not enough to make a new line. So, still at the same mark. And then we go on to March's add-ons. And then we have Wet n Wild Embellish Minted, and there is my new line. I use this one a lot. This is what's currently on my toes. Love this one on my toes. You have to do like three coats to get to this green shade, though. It's very sheer. China Glaze Don't Get Elfed Up, which is this one right here, and I think we have a little bit of progress. That gold line is where we're at. And then Wet n Wild Telescopic Vision, and we have a little bit of progress. I don't know if you can see that gold line underneath that black line. Come on, show that gold line. Anyway, that's how much progress we ma I made. Um, next one is China Glaze in Purple Fiction. And I made a little bit of progress. I'm like flipping these upside down so you can't see the progress, but there's where I am at. So I made a little bit of progress on this. Doing well on all of these. So the next one is trying to glaze in teen spirit and I don't think we made any progress no we I didn't use this one at all okay and then the next one is China Glaze Don't Mesh With Me, and I told you guys that I love this so much that I would use this up. I currently have this on my nails. I literally use this up. There's a little bit in the bottom, but that's just from what slid down the bottle to the bottom from when I used it up. So this one I completely finished up. So that is two, two polishes that I used up this month two minis so we're going to add in two minis that you guys voted in so you guys voted in and the top two winning votes were was were was were was china glaze in blue ya was number one for votes so super stoked that this one got voted in and the second one that had the number the most votes was wet and wild private viewing which is this nude shade and I did draw a line at the top don't know if you could see that but yes super excited about having a good classic nude shade to have in my collection 
So there were eight shit colors to vote on. Now we have six. I would like to get the rest of these used up before I bring in the rest of my minis. I have a bunch of Oralies to use up and a lot of those Oralies are very much summer colors, which is why I would like to get the rest of these ones used up first before we bring in those Oralie shades. Because I don't want um, those brighter shades to, to be voted in before all these other ones get used up. You know what I'm saying? So I have six shades for you guys to vote on. You guys have two votes each. You guys can vote on YouTube and on Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram in the description box below. But the shades that you guys get to vote on are red shade is taking the red eye. So this is number one. This is beautiful like candy apple red. Number two would be Wet n Wild Sugar Coat, which is this beautiful, like very sheer pink shade. By the way, Blue Ya had 17 votes in pr uh, private viewing. The Wet n Wild had 12 votes. China Glaze Better Not Pout had 11 votes. That was in the third place standings, but I didn't use up another polish to bring that one in. <laughs> so. Then we'll bring in China Glaze Better Not Pout because that one made third place. So, might as well. So, then we have China Glaze Better Not Pout, which is this beautiful, I want to say burgundy. Not really burgundy. I want to say, oh, there's another word I want to say. Marion Berry type shade. I don't know. <laughs> but, beautiful berry shade. Then we have... Uh, China Glaze in Heroin Chic, and this is number four. Number five is this brighter red shade, and this is in the color Sun of a Nutcracker. This one has like a drop of more orange to it, or drop of yellow to this red, so it makes it very bright. And the last red, I know a lot of reds, but I gotta get them used up before I bring in those bright shades. Is trying to glaze y'all ready for this? Which is this medium red. Let's put all the reds together. You can see that they all have like a different tone. So this one, y'all ready for this, is literally in between the, the two reds. So all have a different shade to them. But yeah. That is everything for you guys to vote on. Two votes each. Happy voting. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.